Welcome back. So you guys, I am just excited about the next conversation we're going to have. We are going to have a relationship conversation with a friend of mine named Kason Witten. So we're going to talk about the decisions and the choices that we make as women, why we make those choices, why we think it's okay, but we're going to get it from a guy's perspective. We talk to our friends, they tell us information, they, you know, our female friends, they tell us sometimes what we want to know, but I'm going to tell you what you really need to hear. Please welcome to the Mighty Twin Power Chairs, Kason Witten. Hey. How you doing? How are you? Good to see you. Thank Thanks you. For thank me. you. Yes, have a seat. Have a seat. This ought to be good. This ought <laughs> to be good. So, let me tell everybody. So, we were at a Les Brown presentation event just mm -hmm. a few weeks ago, and we were having this conversation with one of our friends about uh, a relationship she was in and just how she transformed herself, her her individuality for the sake of this guy that he wanted to go to school, he wanted to pursue his career aspirations and whatever. And so she put her stuff to the side, helped elevate him, get him where he needed to be, and then all of a sudden now he's on top of the world and now she wants to pursue her stuff. And he's like, hmm, not so much. So now we're in a flip-flop situation. Now she can't do what she wants to do and now the relationship is going, you know, wherever it's gonna go now because now she's feeling like, well, gee, did you use me? Did you whatever? I thought we were in this together. This happens a lot where the female puts themselves aside and do everything for him and get him where he needs to be, thinking that's great, thinking that's kind of what I'm supposed to do. But from your perspective, when we were talking about this, his perspective was kind of different. Like, you weren't supposed to do that or that your initial choices were just kind of crazy. So tell me about the mindset of the guy um, from that perspective, whether it's from her situation specifically or just what guys normally experience because this happens all the time. She wasn't the first. Well, Dana, I'm not going to try to lose my, my guy card here today, but Whatever. I am, I am, <laughs> I am, I am going to say this though. Uh, I'll start from, from, from her perspective. I believe that women are nurturers by, by nature. And a relationship to me is a form of security. Mm -hmm. So at that, with that instance, what I was looking at from her angle, she, was, she felt secure. She felt secure that if I help this man with his dream, that his dream will give us an umbrella mm -hmm. for us to continue on together. Now, from his mindset, it just depends because unfortunately for guys, we do in science, Science does back this when I say this. <laughs> hey, it's we do mature uh, at a slower rate than women in, in a lot of areas. Mm -hmm. um, and so no telling where he was, depending upon his age and depending upon what he had gone through in his life previously there. Because I don't know how he viewed women growing up, things of that nature. But when this help came, that was cool. Mm -hmm. Baby, I appreciate it. You helped me and all this. But Dana, what happens when you get to the top of the mountain, um, you start feeling power as a man. And I'm going to tell you, it goes back to a statement that I read that women's loyalties are tested when their man has nothing. Mm -hmm. And a man's loyalty is tested when he has everything. Wow. And the second half of this that's being tested, I think, is when, because as a man, when we feel that power, what do we do with it? Mm -hmm. You know, you think about power in, in the sense of lottery winnings. When somebody mm -hmm. wins, let's say, $350 million, they go crazy. And statistics show that the average lottery winner loses all their earnings within the first five years of them getting it. Right. Why? Because you start going out, you become a consumer. Mm -hmm. You buy everything you put your hands to. Well, from a guy's perspective, if we get elevated sometimes and we're not mature enough yet right. to handle that kind of uh, blessing, if you will, mm -hmm. then we're going to go crazy and we're going to forget about who helped us get there. Right. And that, that goes back to EUC rappers and everybody on TV nowadays talking about you got to remember where you came from, remember what's happening. Right. So I kind of hurt, felt heart wise, I felt her story a little bit because that's, that's so prevalent that women do that. I know I've been elevated by women in my life and I thank them for that. The relationships didn't always work, but, <laughs> but says the divorce guy, <laughs> yeah, says the divorce guy, but I, I appreciate going through those things because now I, I understand that. So my heart kind of went out to her. And so because now she's double backing, or he's double, I won't say she's double backing, but he's double backing now where now he's like understanding and realizing I was kind of stupid. And then now you want to recycle and you, you think you want to go back and now you want to try, you want her to now understand that you weren't ready yet. But she, but as a guy, we're not, we don't empathize enough. 
and mm -hmm. we don't sympathize and empathize, empathize, empathize enough with women because we don't know how to do that because that's not taught in our DNA. We're, <laughs> we're, we're straight. We're straight protectors. Um, we're, we're cavemen, so to speak. So, yeah, we're going to double back because a lot of times, and I'm going to say this, says the divorce guy. I got divorced because I did some stupid things. I look mm -hmm. back now, they were stupid. But at the time, I thought I was doing the right thing. Right. For some reason, because we don't ask for directions. Mm -hmm. You know, guys, we don't ask for directions when we're in cars and different things. If we're wrong, we would just be 100% wrong. Then to have to admit defeat. Right. If you admit defeat, that means you're not as strong or you're not as powerful. Mm -hmm. So as guys, we struggle with that. And then I don't know, to me, there's ethnic boundaries and barriers there. Mm -hmm. I know as African-American males, we have an extreme high pride slash ego. <laughs> so we don't like that deflated. Um, over all the years of going through what we go through as, as black males, if you will, we want to maintain that. So when we are wrong, it's real hard to say, I apologize mm -hmm. or I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And but by that time, it could be too late because right. the women emotionally as women, I've found that women get to a certain point. And it's true what they say. When a woman's fed up, that's it. That means her emotions are cut off. Well, as a guy, we sometimes get that way, mm -hmm. but it takes a lot for us to get that way. <laughs> so it's. It, it's, it's a situation where he was feeling, getting to that power, we're, we're hunters. So rising up. <laughs> I like that, hunters. <laughs> yeah, we're hunters. Rising up to that, that summit, if you will, that mm -hmm. she got him to. That started to build him up. Pride, rock. Yeah, yeah, it started to build him up, so he started to feel good. And he just flat out forgot who was helping him. So it's. Wow, so then go back now, so. We're in this situation. We understand where guys' positions are. We understand where the females' positions are, mm -hmm. where their heads are, the recycling back, trying to get back into the relationship. So for women, what was the advice that you gave the girl that if she had to do that all over again, you told her a couple, <laughs> you told her a couple things. Uh, and then I want to ask you about, I want to ask you about that book you wrote about elevation. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to just paraphrase real quick. I mean, it was, first of all, the words I, I spoke to her that came out, came out quickly, and, and I didn't even think about the embracements of them, but that she would have to just kind of leave him almost. You know, at that point, it's over with because she realized that, and that's like a slap in the face. Who wants to be slapped in the face, mm -hmm. either physically or emotionally? And for her, it sounded like she was trying to make sense of it all, mm -hmm. but I basically told you, you can't make sense of it. As dudes, we don't even know why we do some things we do sometimes. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real <laughs> because, you know, even to this day, there's some decisions I've made that I have to go back to, you know, female friends or whatever and be like, they, like I have to tell them, I, yeah, and I get that I told you so. Mm -hmm. So at that time, it was, you know, he, he wasn't ready. Right. And the thing about it is when you leave somebody, I'm not saying you should never go back to somebody because sometimes true love takes time to develop or whatever. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is sometimes you left them for a reason and that reason is still going to be there. Right. So I'm not hating on guys or whatever. I'm not hating on relationships that sometimes people do get married, divorced, and then get remarried again. Right. But that issue might still be there. It's like a pink elephant in the room. <laughs> It'll just grow. So I was kind of encouraging her just to kind of leave that. Right. Because he's going to have whatever it was. It wasn't just that one little thing. There's some other stuff that's built up there. Right. And that's important in relationships, figuring out who you're dealing with, what they've gone through. Um, before. Right. I think women are the best FBI agents. And I don't know why a woman isn't running our FBI. <laughs> I know, right? Because there'd be no fugitives. Right. Because you, you can't hide. Right. Um, you know, recently I just got hit. I just got hit with, with something. It's amazing when you tie yourself into social media, what women find in your social media accounts. Or right. Whatever. So I got, what is this picture yeah. on my, my deal? I forgot that I liked it, but it was like from two years ago. Wow. Right. Yeah, so well, You can't hide. Right. I'm like, I want to ask the question, why are you digging up something from two years? Right. Why are you bringing matter. up old stuff? Like, it's real old. Doesn't matter. But as a woman, I think that research, and I talked about this yesterday at a, at a, a singles conference, you have to do research on who you're going to be in a relationship with. If you, and it's at a point, maybe because I'm, I'm, I'm 40 now talking about this, mm -hmm. but you need to do that background check. Your first date shouldn't right. be at a movies where you're just sitting there watching a the movie, not right. paying attention to the person. 
Right. You need to go to dinner. You need to sit down and have a lunch. To talk. You need to ask them, what's your blood type? <laughs> right. You know, right. what's your bank account? Do you got, hey, <laughs> right. when you come, here's a prequel to the date. I need you to bring so credit reports. Crazy. <laughs> right. I need they you think to, I'm crazy. Uh, 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 seriously, you know what? Have you been in the military? Do you suffer from PTSD? What's <laughs> right. wrong with you? Like, you got to ask these people that. Because, and you know what? And you know what? Look, what's your, what, what's your HIV? Do you, do you have that? Right. I need you to bring that. Oh, that. if you don't have that, yeah. then we will go out on a date after we'll you go to the it. clinic and get it done. But I, I need that stuff. And you bring a little, little portfolio. And I'm saying. <laughs> Your little interview portfolio. <laughs> that's, but, but that's real. And then it even goes further. I said, you better figure out what family that you're, you're dating into. Yeah. Because yeah. Dayton, I know at, 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 at my age, in my bracket, it's, you should be going trying to go get, to get married. Right. So what's the deal? You know, yeah. so, and I'm learning this said the divorce guy. That's, that's some of the that's things that I'm looking guy. for. So tell me the title of your book, and then we'll wrap this up. Tell me the title. Surviving the Climb, the 10 Steps to Achieving Your Greatness in a World of Complacency. And then before we close out and go to a commercial, what's the quote again of the profound, women's loyalties are tested? Women's loyalties are tested when her man has nothing. A man's loyalty is tested when he has everything. Keep that in mind, ladies. Don't go away. We'll be right back.